everybody, this is the second Leatheronics review in my mini-series, and today I'm wearing the corseted skirt, or skirted corset, 1810 by Leatherotics. So here's the front, side, back, and the other side. For the height of this corset in the center front, for the structured part, it's 13 inches, and then from the top all the way down to the bottom with the skirted part, which is not boned, that is about 20 inches. However, this was another one of my corsets that I decided to buy with a little bit of extra length in the torso here. Um, from the peak of the bust down to the bottom is uh, 22 inches and the structured part there is 15 inches so you can see it actually does cover me quite well which I'm very happy about because I have a long torso. The shape of this um, as you can see here in the back I still have to wear it open a little bit. I can close it more but then it causes some sort of um, squishing here in the front so I prefer to have it a little bit open. This corset even off the rack has very good hip spring. You can see, I don't know if you can see it because the, the material is light, but if I put my hair behind it, you can see that it actually does go out from the waist of the hips quite nicely. Um, I find this to be rather comfortable. I find this to be uh, sort of a slim hourglass figure, a gentle hourglass silhouette, as opposed to some of my previous corsets that I had reviewed before, which is more of a modern slim silhouette. So here's the corset laying flat, and I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but this particular fashion fabric that I got, the light purple and silver brocade, it has a lot of metallic silver threads running through it, and it's, it's so pretty. It's shiny and it's sparkly and the sunlight is catching it right now, so I hope that's coming out on camera. Um, however, for um, other colors, they have um, dark blue and per dark purple and gold and orange and uh, of course the plain black satin, green, uh, they have a lot of different colors for this so you don't, you're not limited just to the, the purple, you could probably get whatever your favorite color is. And then on the inside here, um, like with the other corsets, it's lined in this um, sturdy black cotton twill. For the construction of this, it's made with a five panel pattern, see one, two, three, four, five, and in my opinion, it uh, it goes over the curves quite well. The um, All the panels are double stitched, they're top stitched um, between the panels, and the inside of this corset is really nice actually compared to my other leather erotics corsets, um, because it doesn't have like the bulky um, bony channels running down here. You can still see the the bony channels here, but they're not made from the bulky separate um, panels or channels of twill here. You can also see the waist tape running through here. It's made from a um, one inch wide satin ribbon um, and it's secured down at all of these bony channels here. And the binding is made from bias strips of uh, matching fabric to match the rest of the corset, which is neatly stitched both on the outside and on the inside here. There's also a modesty panel here. It is six and a half inches wide, and it's made from the same um, brocade on the outside, twill on the inside. It's stitched down on one side, but you can remove it if you want to. However, I do not recommend that you <laughs> remove it because it's also helping to cover the gap in the back of the corset um, at the skirted part. So if you try to remove this modesty panel, then you might have your butt showing. So <laughs> I would recommend that you keep it um, attached or if you take it off, then suspend it. And you can see here is also a modesty placket on the knob side of the busk. The busk itself is pretty nice. It is, on my corset, 12 and a half inches long, but on your corset it might be slightly shorter if you don't get the um, change in the length of the corset. And it is slightly less than an inch wide. Um, pretty sturdy, sturdier than your standard flexible busk, but once again, once you um, put this together, it's very hard for it to bend be just because of the way that the, the clasps are going together. For bones, there are 12 steel bones in this corset, six on each side. The two that are sandwiching the grommets are quarter inch wide um, flat steel boning, and then the four here, one, two, three, four, that are on the seams of the panels, those are uh, quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. 
And here's a close-up of the grommets. There are 32 size double zero grommets, 16 on each side. However, yours might not have quite as many because um, I did get a longer torso, like I said before. Finished in silver, which I like. Um, I like how it matches the rest of the corset, but I mean, that's probably not a design thing. That's just a coincidence thing. Anyway, um, I was nervous about this corset because the brocade, when I feel it, it feels like if it's not treated properly, it could rip away from the grommets. So the grommets could rip away from the fabric. However, um, you can see that that's not happening in this case. Even around the waistline, you don't see any coming away at all, um, which I'm pleasantly surprised about. So I guess Leatherotics really takes it seriously when they get complaints about um, grommets ripping out in their older style corsets. And um, so, yeah, apparently they had changed the type of grommets that they had been using and also reinforced this last panel um, so that the grommets no longer rip out. So I'm quite happy. So here's the inside of the corset. Um, you can see that the grommets, they have no splits in them from what I can see. Um, the laces glide through really nicely. So I'm really happy about their, their choice to um, change their grommets. Um, the laces themselves, quarter inch wide, nylon braided uh, flat shoelace style laces. Um, they have little spring to them, um, but they're very difficult to break. The price for this corset is about 50 pounds in the UK, which converts to around $75 in the US. And now for the bus test. Because I have a little bit extra length here in the torso, this covers my bust quite nicely and it passed all four parts of the bust test. However, if you're going to be jumping around, I highly suggest that you wear pants or some sort of tights underneath the, the skirt because it does fly up. So this concludes the review for the Leatherotics 1810 skirted corset. If you liked it, then please click the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.